What's going on you guys? It's Jamie. Welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Today's video is going to be a little bit different of a video. I just got back from Goodwill. Normally I like to take you guys with me, but it was a 50% off day on I think white and uh, green tags. So I really just wanted to get in there. There was a, a ton of people. I didn't want to film, but I did want to show you what I picked up and what kind of stuff I grab when they have sales days like this. <laughs> So the first store was Goodwill in uh, Goodwill in Woodstock, Ontario. I spent forty-four dollars and twenty-five cents. Uh, I saved total thirty dollars and twenty-five cents. So not everything I bought was at fifty percent. So pretty close, though, right? My savings were almost as much as I spent by about you know fourteen dollars. So what did I get? You know, this wasn't on sale at all. This was just some wrapping paper, and this is for personal use. And I'm going to show you everything I picked up. There are going to be a few items like this. Um, but it's kind of interesting, right? I paid a dollar, a dollar twenty-nine for wrapping paper. It's not Christmas wrapping paper; it's birthday paper. So if someone's going to get that on the birthday present, okay. So these are something I would not normally pick up. These are toward uh, tops. Um, sometimes we pick these up for family members and stuff. Um, essentially, this is like plus size clothing. If you've never seen the tag before, it just looks like that. This is a size two, and I believe that'd be like a two X or three X. So it was, this one was $4 and uh, $4.50, so half of that, right, $2.25. And this should sell for somewhere around $20. So $2 into 20, pretty good. I picked up a few of these brand, actually, of the Tour brand. Let me uh, see, yeah, four, four dollars same thing, about $2.50 roughly, so we can hold this thing up. You know, just a nice little, uh, a nice little top. Same thing toward. I think it might be a different size toward size two. Same thing. I'd value this at like twenty, twenty-five dollars. Hopefully, I can find some similar comps and I will throw them up on the screen. I'm just gonna try to go through everything as quick as possible. So this is just another T-shirt. So T-shirts for uh, about four twenty-five for, or sorry, about two twenty-five total for this guy. This is an um, a Nike soccer club. I'm gonna go NVB. I can't remember what that is. I feel like this is like Netherlands or something. But I picked stuff up like this before, and usually this is going to sell for about 25 or 30 bucks. And I have been selling on Poshmark a little bit more, so clothing on Poshmark is really good. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, jackets. So this was $10.50, which makes it about $5.25. Really, really nice little um, uh, New Balance women's size small not the best size in the world but it sort of just kind of got that um what do you what do you call this i can't think oh like fleece it's just a fleece i don't know is this a jacket or is it like a, a zip up sweater i think it's more of a jacket but i believe this will probably you know for five dollars i'll probably flip it into 30 pretty easily so still pretty decent pickup uh this is going to be a personal a personal item it's a vineyard vines uh t-shirt you could probably flip this for about 20 25 bucks on ebay or poshmark and i did pay about two dollars and 20 cents for it but you know i kind of like it so i'm going to keep that one i think i got yeah this might be another tour top so as you can see i pick up a lot of clothing when we get these 50 percent days so this one is even cheaper three dollars and uh 30 cents so that makes it what a dollar 60 or 70 i'm sure my math is off by a little bit there this one's a little bit dirty, but it's nice, nice little top. So for you know a dollar and sixty, I still value this like the other ones, probably about twenty-five or thirty bucks. So you can't really go wrong there. And Torrid is a very—if you've never seen a Torrid, they're usually in the mall, uh, like a bigger mall, and the clothing are super expensive. Uh, like like a regular top like that probably is like sixty or seventy dollars, which makes them pretty valuable to resell. You know. It's not something to pick up all the time, but sometimes they're good. So, I also like to look in the jeans section. They're either got to be a name that's a good name or new with tags. These were just some Levi's 505s. Uh, I paid $7.49, roughly like $3.70 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, nice. These are Levi 505s. They're in pretty good shape. They probably could go through the wash once. And uh, you know, these should be the same thing, about a $30 pair of jeans. So, can't really, can't really complain with margins like that. I'm not sure what um, these are worth. Stuck on the bag, actually, at a second. 
Come on. Nothing like res wrestling a, a plastic bag. Okay, so this was the tag on there. $9.20, so roughly, you know, four and a half dollars for this guy. And uh, they're a pair of polo khaki pants, actually still new with tags. Everything is brand new. I think they're a good size too. What size are you? 30, I think it was a 36 or something. Yeah, okay, 32 30s. Very nice, obviously brand new. They retail for $99 brand new. I think I'm probably gonna get about 30, 30 bucks out of these. But like I said, I paid it roughly about $4 and 50 cents or something for them. It's not bad. Did pick up quite a few things here. Another pair of jeans. These ones aren't new with tags, but they are Lee's. Uh, Lee's straight leg fit. Paid the same thing, about $4.25 or so. Yeah, nice though. Just nice pair of Lee's. Also a pretty good size. These ones are size 32 as well. That's a pretty good size for men's jeans. Pretty, pretty average. Um, oh, there goes all the clothes on the floor. What else do we got here? So I picked this up. This wasn't on sale. I paid $4.99 for this. This is Oster. Oster's a really great brand that's been around for a long time. These are actually pet clippers, A5 pet clippers. I don't know what they're worth, but I know they're worth more than $5. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Um, I do feel like these ones will be pretty good. When I took them out of here, it's still, it's not new, it's definitely used, but it's in really, really nice shape overall. Um, and I know the motors in these things are basically what people are after for as far as clippers. The motor is a lot better than your, your average, uh, just, you know, Walmart brand, whatever. This is definitely a professional brand and the motors are made to last. So really happy with this one. Not sure what it's worth. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess maybe it's worth about 40 bucks, but I'm not really sure. Didn't even look up comps of any of this stuff. I just grabbed stuff that's in the store today. Uh, this is one of the only things I kind of looked up. I couldn't find an exact comp for this. It was three, $3.99. This one was not on sale either. I do feel like this will sell for about $40. I'll throw up a similar item. I didn't find an actual sold. I might be able to find a sold at home here if I'm looking a little further. But yeah, just, just a little uh, answering machine, an old phone. And I do think that'll be worth about $40 shipped. Uh, speaking of old phones, the last item, this was also not a sale item. But, you know, super old phone. This is cool. Uh, I probably will list this, list this on eBay, but I am still trying to get an antique booth going. So if I had an antique booth, this would be a perfect item for that. Uh, even so, I think these things sell for about 30 bucks on eBay still, so really nice. So let's get into store number two, uh, which is Tilsonburg Goodwill. So the next store was uh, Tilsonburg, Ontario. I spent, Goodwill obviously, I spent uh, $57.65. I do believe everything except for one item was at 50%, so I saved 50% on everything here except for the one item, uh, which I will show you obviously. So One Tree Hill, this is what's sitting in the glass case up front. They were asking uh, $29.99. That's quite a bit. I didn't get a chance to make sure it was all in here, but it looks good and I will go, go through it all anyway. So I paid roughly about 15 bucks for this. And the last comp I seen for this one was about 60 bucks. I'll try to throw it up on the screen. Um, so turning $15, uh, my cost into 16 sold. That would be amazing. So I picked that up. Um, next bag here. We need to leave it around, I guess. Went back for some more clothing. Um, I know it's probably not super exciting for you guys, but when you think about it, you know, I'm paying $4 and change for a pair of jeans that are gonna sell for, you know, let's say 25 or $30. These ones also are, no, the other ones were 505s. So these are 559s. Five, five They're a pretty nice shape. There's a little bit of fraying on the bottom of this. I'll just wind up, I will wash them and I'll just take scissors and clean it up and I will take a picture of that as well. Um, but I still do think they'll probably sell for about $25 for me. Could be totally wrong too, but you know, I've had really good luck selling jeans, so I'm not really uh, worried about picking stuff like this up. And the other thing is they don't take up a lot of space, so that's kind of nice. Same thing, so I paid uh, $9.50, so whatever, $4.20, whatever it would be, $4.25 or whatever. Anyway, these are some Tommy Hill figures, uh, size... 32 as well. So yeah, it seems like a lot of 32s. It was a white tag, half off. Same thing, I value those about 25 or 30 bucks. We've got one more pair of jeans in here. And then the promise, 
we're done with the jeans, but uh, these are 502s, Levi 502s, same thing. Paid about $4 and change for these. Pretty nice. Definitely think they're going to be worth about 25 or 30 bucks. Um, one more thing in this bag and then we'll grab the next bag. Oh, I have no idea what these are worth. I've been seeing these for a while and they repriced them to $6.29. They're a pair of Kohans, so half price. We're talking about $3.15 or something roughly like that. So for $3.15, these are probably going to be about 40 bucks. I could be wrong. I didn't even look them up when I just thought about paying $3 roughly for a pair of Kohans. I didn't think you could go wrong, so I picked them up. Do think they'll be pretty good. Like I said, about 40 bucks. Uh, last bag over here. So this is personal, personal item, not on sale. Big spender, $1.29, really cute. A num, I think they're num nums or something like that. Uh, I've talked about before. We've actually downsized some of our uh, stuffed animal collection, but I thought this one was too cute to leave in the store for just a dollar. So I picked it up for my wife. Um, a few more things in here. I think this is a Tommy, yeah, Tommy jacket, $10 roughly. So I paid $5 and change for this. Um, just a pretty basic pullover. I would say it's kind of like a golf type style, but Tommy Hilfiger men's extra large. I would value this at probably 35 or $40. So pretty nice, you know, $5 into, into 35 or $40. So got some DVDs. None of these are worth a ton of money. Uh, but they're going to only be about a dollar and 15 cents each. So UFC 6, UFC 8, and some TV show I've never heard of called Damage uh, Season 4. So all these are brand new and sealed. The seal's a little bit off in this one. If I had to guess, these are probably about uh, 8 to 10 to 12. So let's say let's say 8 to 12 dollars a piece. I could be wrong. I'll try to throw comps up for all three, but they were just basically a dollar each. So and the brand new sealed, so no issues there about worrying about scratch discs or anything. Um, Few more things in here so this is likely personal i'm probably going to give this to my wife it's a disney parks um just screen printed too but disney parks uh shirt mickey and minnie super cute uh it was four dollars and change so roughly about two dollars and 20 cents for this guy you probably could flip this on uh poshmark still for maybe 20 bucks or something like that 15 20 bucks not bad I said I'm gonna like to keep that one. Uh, this is a brand. I don't even I'll have to look and read it again. What it's called? I just thought the graphic was really cool, and I kind of got it for myself. And then I looked it up, and uh, what's it say again? Alexandria, Alexandra, Alexandra. I don't even know. Whatever it is, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. It's pretty cool. It's just two bucks for this guy. It's screen printed. Uh, the ones that I see, not this exact one, but other ones that I did see on there from that brand, uh, look like they were selling for about 30 bucks. So still pretty good. Two dollars into 30. You know, if I keep it, that's fine. If I don't, that's also fine. I seen this the other day. So this one was about five. Cost it was ten dollars and changed. It cost me about five twenty or something like that. Just a Tom, another Tommy Hill figure. Super clean light jacket so I think it's a good size too yeah I uh, hopefully you see that men's extra large good time of year to be picking up spring and fall jackets so we're getting it's the middle of February I think uh, when you, this comes out it'll most likely be Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's Day but um, this will be a nice spring item because February at the end of February into March April the weather gets nicer you don't need the big heavy winter jackets anymore people will be looking for nice spring jackets and I'll have that one to sell same thing I probably value it around 30 bucks maybe something like that being that I paid five dollars I'm happy so that's that's the other thing with the sales obviously right uh, would I pick that up normally for you know ten dollars to sell it for 30 not usually unless I thought it was gonna sell fast or it was highly sought after but I pick it up for $5, if I list it for $35 and get an offer for like $28, I'd be happy taking $28 for it. You kind of get it, right? You're just buying stuff cheaper. So you, I still list it at the same price. It just makes it a little bit easier to take offers on. And this is an Oscar jersey. Who is Oscar? I have no idea. 
Uh, <laughs> it's definitely soccer, though. I think this is maybe is it Brazil. I think it's a Brazil jersey. So, just a cool little jersey. Uh, I paid, I think, $2 and change for this one as well. Let me just look at the tag. Yeah. Four. 70, 220, I guess, or 240, I guess I paid for this. $2.40. And the jerseys like this normally are going to sell for about 30 bucks, maybe more, maybe less. But uh, yeah, I wasn't going to leave it there for $2. I know this is a different style of video, just sort of a, a haul video showing you what I picked up today. You know, I just thought I'd like to share it because 50% off day, for me personally, to go in there with a the camera and try to do everything that I normally do, it would just be too hard and there's too many people and too many questions to be had why, well, personally, why you're filming in a store and the whole deal, right? So it's just easier for me to do it this way, but I did want to share with you what I picked up. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Take care, stay safe, we'll see you soon, bye-bye.